Welcome to the Slow Home Studio. October is bathroom month, and today we're going to be looking at some detailing in vessel sinks. Right, there's really three main types of vessel sinks, and we thought we would go through them one by one and look at the design considerations for each. So the first type of vessel sink is where the tap is located on the back of the sink itself. So it's pretty clear where the tap goes, so that's not really an issue. However, there is some clearance issues with the tap because this tap has a movable part which lifts up or down to turn the water on, and you have to make sure it doesn't hit the mirror, and because the tap is higher than it would normally be with a regular sink, if you have a medicine cabinet, you also have to make sure that the door of the medicine cabinet clears the tap. On the topic of heights, a typical sink surface should be about 32 inches above the ground. If you have a, an, a vessel sink, you need to account for this difference which could be as much as six inches, and make sure that you lower your vanity surface. Otherwise, you're going to be too high up when you're starting to, uh, to dry and wash your hands. Yeah, that's a critical point. So the next type of vessel sink is where the tap sits behind the vessel sink. And the issue with this one is you have to make sure your tap is tall enough to clear up and over to get the water into the sink. That's right. That means that you need to make sure that it comes out over. Most taps and sinks have a sweet spot that they want to hit that water so that it doesn't splash all over the place, and you've got to make sure that you would do that. You also have to make sure that there is enough space within that vanity to be able to have both the sink and the tap in the back. Right. And the third type of vessel sink is where the tap comes out of the wall itself. And this is an example by Kohler. It's called the falling water. These ones are really tricky to install because the rough-in is done far before the millwork, and oftentimes you can place the sink and the tap at the finishing stage of the house, but you really need to know where this is in relationship to your sink far in advance. That's right. So remember, vessel sinks are a great addition to the coterie of, of bathroom options, but you have to make sure that you consider all aspects of the design before you put it in. See you next time.